Oh hi there! Welcome to my channel. My name is Leah and today I let you pick out my makeup. Um, I posted a bunch of different options on my Instagram and let you guys vote and I think you guys did a really great job. So if you want to see what the winners were and how I did this look, please make sure to stay tuned. I have primed my skin with my all-time favorite Lumi Lotion and it's so weird. I had the stomach flu over the weekend so I um, I'm very sore if you see me randomly wincing while I'm trying to read yep that kind of hurts um, that's why and also apparently I burst some capillaries in my around my eyes and on my forehead I can see the little red spots um, so I'm glad you guys picked the foundation that you did because it is full coverage <laughs> So I posted most of my steps today on Instagram and you guys got to pick what I'm going to wear and the first one was foundations and it was between the Maybelline Fit Me and the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Freshwear and you chose the L'Oreal. I can definitely see so many little like red spots all over my face. It sucks. Like that's one thing that's getting covered up. Um, about like having a kid and your kid goes to daycare where there's other kids and they're just little germ farms. Um, so we thought we got food poisoning like we've had the stomach flu but it's never been this bad so i thought we got food poisoning because i've also had food poisoning before and that's like what this felt like um and then i took my kid to daycare this morning and his daycare lady was like oh yeah we've all been really sick all weekend too um just like throwing up and um it was just throwing up like we didn't have a fever um or anything like that so that's why i didn't think it was a stomach flu because usually when I have the stomach flu we get like a high fever and are just like really wiped out and tired but I was just like four eight hours in a row I think just constantly every ten minutes in the bathroom just barfing my face off which is why I have burst capillaries <laughs> and I'm very very sore today um, this like it rivals like the worst hangover you've ever had but extremely long like I got to see the sunrise because I was up throwing up um, and fortunately for the little guy he only threw up like two times that's the thing with kids it's like if you get what your kid has they have like two quick pukes and then they're over and then you're throwing up for the rest of the day and for concealer I gave you guys the choice between ColourPop no filter concealer and the Rimmel stay matte concealer and it was overwhelmingly 100% ColourPop so that was my weekend. What did you guys do? <laughs> Hopefully not spend the entire weekend just barfing. Um, I did, however, watch the entire new season of Queer Eye between puking, which was great. Um, I just I love that show. They're so good. And I just want Karama to like live in my Alexa and give me words of sage advice every single morning. Like I want that to be part of my morning routine on Alexa. I need to stop saying her name because she's over here listening. I just went and did my eyebrows off camera because I didn't have anything to choose from. I use one product. Well, two products, but I don't have variations of said brow gel and pencil. They're just what I use. Um, so next I asked which palette you wanted to see. I was between the Rimmel Crimson Edition Magnifies the pink one, or the Physician's Formula Butter Palette in Sultry Nights, and this guy won 100%. All right, so I'm going to start with this shade here. It's called Beach Beige. Beach Beige, not Beach Beige, but super cute. And I'm going to just do a really big, um, not really big, I'm going to do an all-over um, transition. That's really pretty. I haven't used this palette much, but it smells like the butter bronzer, which I love. It just smells like beachy. Um, and they're just really nice and soft. So if you guys haven't tried Physicians Formula Shadows yet, I definitely recommend them. They're just nice. And they smell good if you get the butter kind. It's nice, it's nice. So tomorrow, my friend, my good friend, who's like one of my only friends left in town, <laughs> oh, don't laugh it hurts um she had a baby about a month ago and i'm gonna get to go see her and her little nugget tomorrow i'm very excited um usually when i go see friends who have babies i give them about a month before i start you know can i come over and hold the baby because 
I myself didn't get to have my son home for the first like 20 days but um that first month actually that first two months is real rough because like you are just hanging on by the two hours of sleep you get in spurts and just being exhausted and tired so I'm not trying to like make anybody entertain me <laughs> oh sorry when I go see them and their baby um although when I'm friends with somebody who just has had a new baby um, I like to do the thing where I'm like, I'll come over, I'm bringing you lunch, you can go take a shower, take a nap, do whatever you want to do, I will sit here and hold your baby until she's hungry. Okay, next I'm going to take this shade down here called Off the Coast and just deepen up the outer V in the crease a little bit. I'm going to just use the same brush because they're very similar. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty excited. I haven't seen her in, you know, a month. And I love her and her little boy is just the cutest and the funnest. So I'm hoping he'll be there so I can play with him a little bit. Um... Magnus will be in school. I should have thought that out. We should have gotten together on the weekend. Ooh, that's pretty. Um, and anyway, it'll be nice. And then, of course, I'll have the baby fever after that. And I don't know, man. After being so sick this weekend, I don't know if I'm ready to go through pregnancy again. So maybe the fever will have worn off by this point. And next I'm going to grab this fun purple shade here. It's called Below the Horizon. And just deepen up that corner because... I have an idea and I want to see if it works out. And I'm just using kind of a flat, fluffy brush. We'll see how it goes. So wish me luck. Yep, that's pretty much how it, ooh. That, on top of that brown, it just makes the purple really deep and nice. I like it. I like it a lot. I am feeling this purple shade. I really like it. So I'm going to use this little kind of pencil brush and pull the purple down underneath my eyes. Um, yeah. yeah, I love how these blend. These are beautiful. And I think this shadow palette, I got it at CVS. So you have to kind of remember CVS is always a little bit more expensive than like Target or Walmart or whatever. However, they always do their um, like coupon saving things. So I think I paid the original price on this was $17. And then I had some like dollars back. So I ended up getting like $10 off of it. And then it was if you spend 15, you get $10 in more bucks. So I ended up kind of making money on this palette. It was awesome. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't laugh. Um, yeah, that's one thing like CVS had this huge like beauty, um, event in the month of March. I think it was the month of March. Um, but it was, they had all these like crazy money back things on, um, a lot of beauty and they still, I think have it going on. I don't know, but I ended up going there quite a bit and like not spending a whole lot of money, which is, you know, always nice, but I am going to do, well, try to do a no spend April because I bought a bunch of stuff that I, um, I, I should be good for a while is what we'll say. Next, I asked if you guys would like to see a liquid shadow on top of this shadow, and I gave you the choice of Stila in Cloud or this Revlon Eye Art thingy in a color. It is Topaz Twinkle, and Stila one um, at 67%. So I'm going to just um, pop this on the inner um, section of my lid. We'll, just, we'll go with that for today. I really do like this one. This one um, does shine it's crazy but it dries down and it feels like there's a layer of shellac so it does have a funny feel um but it does kind of peel off a little bit which is very satisfying and this comes with a pretty skinny little doe foot so i'm just going to use that to um apply it on my eyes I gave that a second to dry so now I'm just going to take um, the brush that had the little bit of purple on it and just kind of buff so it's not such a crazy transition so it meets a little bit better. That is one thing I do like about these Stila um, shadows is even after they dry down a bit they are still a little bit blendable. Um, so they just look nice. Mm -hmm. And next, we're on to mascara. You guys had the choice between Essence Lash Princess and the new Wander Beauty Mile High Club. I actually haven't used this one yet, so I'm really glad you picked this one. <laughs> this one. 
let's see what the wand looks like okay so this one's just a totally straight wand and what it is supposed to do volume and length let's give it a whirl So that is the mascara on. It is three coats because I am a three coat gal. That's always what I do. The first coat I was like, oh no, this isn't going to be great. But um, I think it looks pretty good. It's a nice dark black and it, I would say it lengthens pretty well and it does give volume so it lives up to what it's hype. And I am realizing now that I did not ask for your face recommendations. So I'm just going to use these guys, you know, the huge time for lips so you guys had the choice between this l'oreal new liquid lip that i don't know what the name of this the line is it doesn't say on the tube but it is in the shade i rule and the maybelline vivid hot lacquer um in the shade charmer uh you guys chose this one three to one so think that looks pretty good with this. I was a little nervous, but um, you guys picked a really good one. I will say I do like this formula quite a bit. It's really, really thin, but it does stay on quite a long time and it doesn't feel drying. But um, like, I don't know. I just like it. It's um, I just like it. So the tube looks like this. I don't know what it's called. I just know that it's from L'Oreal and it's pretty new if you want to try it. They've gotten into a bunch of shades. Um, I just thought this one was kind of pretty and it is. All right, you guys, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for picking up my makeup. You did a great job. I am kind of really liking this eyeshadow look. I am definitely going to have to play around with this a lot more. There are so many cool shades in here that I think can make a lot of really fun looks. So they blend so nice clearly the winner you guys chose a great one so if you like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button it really helps out my channel and I will love you forever all right have a super great rest of your day and we'll see you in the next video bye 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 bye